Hi everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a dithering effect in Touch Designer. The cool part is, we'll do it entirely with native operators, no coding required. So, let's get started. To create the matrix, start by adding a constant chop. Then, add 15 more channels to it. In each parameter, type in the value that corresponds to the matrix you see on the screen. Next, connect the output of the constant chop to a shuffle chop. In the shuffles parameters, change the method to sequence all samples. To normalize the matrix, connect the output of the shuffle chop to an expression chop. Add 0.5 to the input values to center them, then divide the result by the size of the matrix, which in this case is 16. Now we need to visualize our matrix. To do this, convert the data using a chop to top operator. In its parameters, set image layout to fit to square. Next, change the pixel filtering mode to nearest. Connect the output of the operator to a resolution top. Enable high quality resize and increase the resolution to at least 1000 by 1000 pixels. Next, import an image or video using a movie file in top. In the common tab, change the pixel format to 8 bit monochrome. Back to the pattern, add a transform top. In the tile tab, set the extend mode to repeat. Now, to calculate the ideal pattern size, go to the size parameter and divide the width and height of the matrix by the width and height of the image. Finally, link the resolution of the video directly to the resolution of the pattern so it always matches automatically. Now we just need to blend the pattern with the image. Add a composite top, connect both the image and the pattern, and set the operation mode to overlay. You can also experiment with multiply or soft light if you like. Finally, add a threshold top. And that's it. You now have a fully procedural dithering system using only native operators, no complex coding required. As you can see, the dithering pattern adapts perfectly to any image resolution and is fully procedural. From this system, you can build many more functions or even create a custom component tailored to your projects. If you want to take your dithering to the next level, check out my Patreon. There, you can get a component that, unlike the technique we used in this tutorial, is built with GLSL. This allows for greater control, better optimization, and other advanced features. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that it inspires you to keep creating in Touch Designer.